Hey everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to another live stream. And today's live stream, we are going to be playing some Fall Guys. We're going to be trying to end up getting some more wins, but we're also going to be trying to do some other stuff too. Uh, you know, just kind of like goof around, have fun. I'm actually almost complete with the battle pass. I only need uh, seven more tiers, and I get like one more costume. We get the caveman guy, which is pretty cool. I, I love the caveman outfit. Uh, speaking of outfits, though, I actually end up also having another outfit. I got a... Uh, a pineapple, as you, as you know from recent events. I thought that was too comedic, actually, that I had to get it. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to be rocking Pineapple Boy. And uh, there's actually uh, another Portal crossover skin in the shop, but I really just don't feel like getting it. Oh, they got the pineapple pants. Oh, hell yeah. You know your boy's got to get that. That's the... That's perfect. I, I thought that they would always be in the same time, but last time I got the pineapple head, there was no pants. Now I got the pants. Let's go. That's even better. Now we can be full on pineapple. Hell yeah, brother. But uh, anyway, there's also a another portal skin in here. Uh, it's probably the main character. I don't recognize this girl. I wish it was the uh, the other guy, like the little robot dude. Uh, but unfortunately, that's not in the shop anymore. And uh, I just don't really want to spend my crowns on that. I just don't think it's worth it. I also found out apparently there was a uh, another Valve crossover skin a while ago. It was uh, Team Fortress 2, uh, actually. There, that was the first ever crossover skin, not Portal. There was there was TF2, and then there was the two Portal skins. And we're on the track with uh, only Valve so far being crossovers. So I'm hoping, to be perfectly honest, that they would end up having a... Uh, are, are we really going to grab right away? Do you guys not understand how uh, the, the 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 world uh, works with seesaws or tea tartars? They don't they don't physically work that way. If you grab people, we're gonna fall. But anyway, um, yeah. So apparently, uh, TF2 and Portal were the crossover skins in that you know that order. But then there was also um, you know the other games that have yet to be released from Valve. So I'm hoping that sooner or later they'll release a Left 4 Dead crossover because that's another one of Valve's main games. I think that that would just be way, way, way cool to have a, uh, a TF2 crossover. Alright, guys. Remember, we have to do this correctly, otherwise we're not going to beat Seesaw, okay? And why, why would you grab? <laughs> Who grabs on Seesaw? Apparently this guy does. Oh, no, no, no. God damn it. People just do not understand how physics work. There we go. Alright, we only got one more spot left to go, and here's hoping we can get this taken care of. See, I, I've kind of come to the uh, conclusion, I'm starting to agree with, uh, like, Matt, Pat, and all those guys, especially based on his current video where he put two and two together, but... Seesaw started to become, like, one of the least popular modes, at least for me. I originally liked it, because I thought it was kind of a cool concept, and then eventually people started getting, like, uberly good, and then we had this catastrophe. Where the seesaw literally will not work. There we go. Okay, at least we made it. Hell yeah. Alright, let's get our ass in there. But yeah, I really don't like how... People are starting to just, they like, they rush and they panic and the seesaw just doesn't work. It, it's starting to get really annoying. It's not that bad, but it's starting to become one of my least favorite modes. Although, then again though, the least favorite modes aren't abysmal. Like, the only game mode that's abysmal is Tail Tag. I, I really don't have a problem with, like, I've heard people complain about every mode, but Tail Tag, I feel like we all unanimously agree, just sucks. No one likes Tail Tag. <laughs> Even the more random modes are just the, the least preferred modes. Like, you know, I know a lot of people don't like Fall Mountain. I know some people don't like um, DoorDash, uh, Hit Parade, stuff like that. But even those modes, like, the worst modes are un unbearable, like Tail Tag. But then again, though, I feel like you need to have a little bit of broken in a game. 
as much as that sounds weird in order to make the game fun, kind of like Modern Warfare 2 or even the current Modern Warfare. Yeah, you know, like for example, nobody likes team modes, but if there was no team modes, then uh, you might not even be able to play with your friends, or you might might just get, kind of get frustrated because the, because then you would realize that hey, you know, you know, it's it's more my like because like you know, random modes like the team modes are more catered to the casuals and uh, and then the other modes are more ca casual to the tryhards. So if you don't have that balance, then uh, you get too much of either or. Some games suffer from too much casual players and too much tryhard players. It's really weird. Like, if a game, you if, it, if you can't compete in a game, people get pissed. And if you can't be casual in a game, people also get pissed. So you need to have that fine line of balance. The fact that we're on the yellow team, the fact that we're winning is incredible. Really, right now, this is just all about staying put. Just need to keep the ball in. No, Blue. Sorry, Blue. Come on, yellow guys. Guys, 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 guys. We're kind of losing unnecessary amounts of our momentum here. <laughs> just, they stole like every ball. Now it's over on blue. Okay, thank you. I guess we've just unanimously agreed to bully red. See, I have no reason to keep scoring. I'm just trying to keep the ball on our side. But the problem is we're kind of dead even. And we might have a last second loss because everyone keeps fucking moving the balls out of our direction. Yep, that's exactly what happened. I hate the team modes. The team modes are garbage in this game, especially one of those ones, like, you know, Hoarders. Hoarders, Egg Scramble, and uh, Rock and Roll are abysmal. They're still not as bad as Tail Tag, but I really don't like them. The way I look at them is I know they need to be in the game in order to keep the game as Fall Guys. But I really don't like playing them when they eventually do come up. Anyway, either or. So just out of curiosity, guys, how are you guys doing tonight? You guys doing well? Everything going good? You guys end up getting any Fall Guys wins or anything like that of the sort lately? Hopefully you have. I don't play this game nearly as often as I, I can, but, uh... I'm starting to just try to, try to increase that. By the way, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the love recently. That's one of the reasons why I titled the uh, the stream the way I did. It's just because we've been getting so much support across all the medias. You know, Twitch and YouTube especially. But I wanted to say thank you. I always greatly appreciate it. You guys know what it is. <laughs> Alright. Up in the front, by all means, I will gladly do that. You know, that's actually kind of a... Aw, oh, damn it, it didn't give me much of a fling as I wanted. I was gonna say, that might have been a good thing, because it... Oh, no, 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 fuck! Don't do that! Come on, dude! That's the one problem with, uh, Whirly Gig, is you can contradict yourself with the... the propellers. You don't launch just perfectly. Okay, at least I got over that. Good. go all right the strat yeah there we go the strat <laughs> oh get up and there I go if you grab me I'm gonna kill you Alright, there we go. But, uh, yeah, like, with the, I would say, like, of all the team-based modes, uh, Team Tail Tag is the worst. Tail Tag, both versions, every version of Tail Tag is awful. Free-for-all, Team, and the Royal Fumble. 
But, um, Team Tail Tag is especially the worst. I'd say probably worst mode is, um, Team Tail Tag, Royal Fumble, Normal Tail Tag, um, Egg Scramble, and I would probably say after that is, uh, what do I want to pick? Do I want to pick Hoarders, Rock and Roll, or Fall Ball? Those three are all kind of equally bad, but some are worse than others. I probably would say... I probably would say Hoarders. Hoarders is pretty bad. Fall Ball, I don't like, and neither do I like um, Rock and Roll. But I feel like out of all the, the game modes you could truly get screwed on, I feel like the other ones I listed were worse. Because you, you'll get screwed in any team setting if you don't necessarily have a good team. Alright, we got Dizzy. Dizzy's honestly not that bad. I like Dizzy. It's very rare that you mess up on it, so it's not really that complicated. Dizzy, I like. Uh, Dizzy is probably one of the favorites in the whole entire game for me. I, I really do like myself some Dizzy Heights. Alright. Get you going. Oh, we're, we're, I, I can't see where the arrows are actually going because of the fucking people in the way. There we go. Certain maps are a lot worse when you got a lot of people. There we go. Hell yeah, I got through that, no problem. Dude, get off of me. It, it would, I've only fallen off of Dizzy a select few times. If you fall off of Dizzy, you're kind of boned. At least if you fall off here, you just respawn at the edge of the map. But if you, if you fell off of that middle part, and you have to go through the, the spinning doors at the bottom. Oh my god, dude, that's abysmal. It's a death sentence if you fall down there. Yeah, I don't think the can... Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think he can make it. But yeah, but you saw the doors back down there. Alright, 29 people. Not that bad. Remember the one night where we got, like, a finale on, a, like, a consistent basis? I think we got a finale in the span of two hours every single game besides, like, three. It was actually a really good run that night. See if we can get that again tonight. Oh, Fruit Shoot. I, I actually like Fruit Shoot. Not a bad mode. It's just literally dodging the fruit. This is all on me. Because very rarely do you see a grabber because it, it takes the person with them, so... I've never seen anybody grab on Fruit Shoot unless they're just trying to, like, either sacrifice themselves or they're being a dead troll. Alright, here we go. Fruit Shoot. I like some fruit. I had a fruit salad earlier today at Panera Bread. It was yummy. Alright. Alright, do that so we don't fall. And I'm getting slammed by oranges. Great. Guys, move. Okay. 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 Yo, yo, dude, why the hell is all the oranges and all the... Why are all the fruit specifically going to the left? Dude! You see that shit? Oh my god, they're targeting me! What the fuck? Do they go for the corners now, the fruit? There's no way that... Like, I am so unlucky! Dude! That was a crock of shit! Every single fruit out of that cannon aimed right at me. At exactly right where I was. There was no question about it. Absolutely zero question. You could see the peripheral view to the right that nobody on the right got hit at all. That is bogus. That's either really unlucky or they buff fruit shoot. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. Hello, testing, testing. Yeah, okay, my mic was in the red zone. It's been in the red zone for a while, but otherwise you can't hear me sometimes. 
Dude, that was stupid. That was really stupid. It's like it's, that's like my experience with the uh, Fall Mountain. Is the, the balls always hit me? So why why not the fruit? <laughs> We got dizzy again, thank god. Something, something's just easy to start off with. Just don't run. There you go. Just take your time, John. It's actually really convenient. Everyone's blocking the balls for me. They all went upward. Jump. Jump. Guys, guys, I do not want to fall to the bottom. Guy. I'm just gonna go around, it's not worth it. Get off me. Fall guy, get up! They buffed this thing for sure. There's no fucking way. Yeah, those guys were screwed from the very beginning because they fell. You get stuck on that bottom middle part, you're done. There's absolutely no way because that nobody ever messes up on on that very rarely. So if you fall in that middle part, and you have to go through the doors. You're you're kaput. We got gate crash. Gate crash is not as bad because it's a little bit more controlled than DoorDash. Really, all this just get past the gates and just you know get to the slime. All right, here we go. Only 29 can qualify. Let's do this. There you go. go dive there you go see how everyone's mimicking me though everyone's trying just as hard oh i still somehow got over that Ugh. oh dude you can not afford to mess around on that Oh, there's no music now. <laughs> and... 29. Oh, the one dude's like drifting off to the side. You see the furry guy? <laughs> He's just like flowing off to the right. Alright. What, let, let's see what other game mode we get. I really, I think it's a team mode, but I don't want to be. Okay, block party. That's not that bad. Block party can be bad or it can be good depending on the circumstance. I think block party has two endings. You get the, either the ending where you jump or the ending where you shuffle left to right. We got grabbers. Uh, I was gonna say, if somebody dies there, like. If you grab, you're basically a BMR. Look like that guy. Oh, I did. Dude, dude, dude. Oh my god, no, no. 
Oh my! Oh, Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! God damn, I could never recover! The one dude grabbed me and I was stuck on every far corner the whole entire time. I couldn't escape. God damn you. You can screw people up so easily by grabbing them. God. I understand it's a mechanic of the game, but it's so toxic. Like, you can grab your fucking asshole. Like, work on yourself and try to actually get good at the game instead of relying on fucking me up. If you can put the energy into fucking me up, you can put the energy into actually getting good. Some people just want to watch the world burn, man. Jesus. It's like I did not fucking consent. Hit parade. I need to appreciate just getting in close like I used to. I, I gotta, I gotta expect to get to the finale, but I also gotta appreciate the mini courses because I've, I, like my standard is just like being like, oh yeah, I'm fucking terrible if I don't get to the finale, and then if I don't get to the finale, you know, therefore I suck. And if I get to the finale but I don't win, oh, it's just a bad game, and you know, it could be RNG or that guy, you know, is a fucking grabber. And then if I win, I'm just like, I'm a god. I really just need to know I'm a god, but I appreciate the old things. I am so fucking shocked that all, 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 every single person on that fucking tube did not fall off. That was probably the most I've seen bounce on that thing and not have it fucking cause a catastrophe. Let me through, goddammit. Thank you. Alright, now just like Dizzy, if you don't get hit by the wrecking balls, you're fine, but other than that, it's a, uh, okay, if you mess up, because everything is basically a walk in the cake, or walk, uh, walk in the park, you know, shooing piece of cake, whatever. Everybody knows the strat to just cut the sides down. Very, those three people are like four people, the only ones going middle, but that's it, and they're probably going to lose. Yeah, they lost. All the people that went middle lost. Somebody's got that portal skin, though, which looks nice. Did they get eliminated? No, they're on the right. I want to know who that character is. Isn't GLaDOS the robot? I'm trying to think of who the girl is. It's probably the person you play as. Alright, roll out. Da, 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 da. Alright, we gotta get 16 eliminated. Guys? Dude, I swear to god, you can just fucking choke slam people, I swear to god. Everyone's walking around, they're clotheslining each other. Hello, Mr. Parrot. Oh, you fucking... You know what? Everyone kill the parrot. Fuck, fucking kill the parrot. The parrot deserves to die. Guys, guys, Jesus Christ. Ninja dude, I swear, I will fucking castrate you. Ninja guy. Th the ninja guy has a vendetta against pineapples, there's no doubt about it. Six got eliminated because probably the other ten rage quit. 
Who will hear his stays actually if they get eliminated, unless it's with their friends? I feel like only people stay with, 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 with their friends. Alright, we got Slime Climb. This is honestly my favorite thing in the game. It's easy if you can get used to it, but it's hard if, you, if you're not used to it. So it's really the true definition of skill. This is probably the second best mode in terms of skill other than Hexagon. Like, honestly. Because, like, you, you're not going to see every single person make it. I've never seen every single person make it on Slime. Ow. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to go around then. Because, fucking hell. Guys, Jesus Christ. Not gonna go for it. That'll go for it. Uh, fuck, I can't. G guys. <sighs> I was gonna say is I see what you guys are doing there. They must be a trio, but I'm not gonna let, let that fucking happen. I gotta keep the monkey guy separated from me. Stay here. Oh, fucking shit. Stay, don't rush. Oh, dude, come on. I was going to say I was per appropriately fast. Don't you grab me, hot dog. <laughs> Where's the other guy? I guess it's just these two. Alright, well we get we get uh fucking thirteen guys. What the fuck? Apparently that didn't kill him, I guess. <laughs> that was awkward. All the people that died rage quit, so there's just da -da 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 -da. It's nothing happened. I was gonna say don't DC me. This is the chance to be in the finale. Although I don't think it is for some reason. No, okay, no, it is hexagon. Okay. 13 player hexagon. Ugh. We'll have to see how this goes. I'm gonna need to cut off a spot. Uh. Mm. Fuck you, ninja! Ah! Uh. Okay, finally think we got a spot to work with. Nope. Fuck. And I- uh, God, Hexagon with 13 is tough, dude. Cause like, Hexagon with 13 people, it's just a constant s just clusterfuck. <laughs> Like, you're constantly running around because you can't do the tile hopping things. People just cut you off to try to make you fall. And then you also have to run just to, to survive. But then, in turn, you're also fucking other people over because when you're trying to run away from the one guy that started the running in the first place, you're cutting off potential paths for other players. So everyone just runs.
it just gets really annoying. Hexagon is only good with like 10 or less. Those extra three people can really fuck it up, man. At least you can hop in and out of games really quickly, and there's a satisfactory thing about having it be mini games. Like, it's almost like a Mario Party vibe. I'm just gonna jump to the other half now. As long as I'm on this half, I should be able to make it. Because a lot of people are not gonna make it. <laughs> okay, that's probably karma for me. <laughs> Luckily, there's not nearly as many people on this one. And, and see, look at that. That was that was completely fine. Zero issue getting across that one. Because these guys understand how science works. Oh, come on. The problem is, is if everybody takes the exact same shortcut as you, you're never going to get front in front of anybody. <laughs> you know, I'm actually curious. I want I want to see leaks about crossover skins coming to Fall Guys. Fall Guys crossover skin leaks. So apparently there is upcoming crossover skins. Oh, actually, oh, interesting. So this guy was basically right on the money. This one leak at the top article, it predicted both of the portal skins. I'll make sure to keep up to date on that guy. It seems like there's already is more crossover skins. It looks like there's one from Half-Life again. Like, it looks like a Half-Life skin. Why are these all Valve? Is Valve something to do with Fall Guys? Because they're all Valve shit. Apparently the bullet is also considered a crossover. Oh dude, there's supposed to be a Mortal Kombat one? There's one of Raiden from Mortal Kombat. Oh, that's fucking cool. Although I don't n recognize any of the other ones that have yet to be released. All the ones that have already released I recognize, but not the uh, yet to be released ones. The, the Raiden one, though, that that's fucking cool. That That is actually a sick concept, having a fucking Mortal Kombat bean. Mortal Kombat jelly bean, motherfucker. Like, can you imagine how cool that would be just to have a, a little Raiden, uh, you know, jelly bean emote, dude? That'd be so fucking sick, dude. I gotta stay away from the edge. On rollout, if you're near the edge, it's too easy to get pushed. I'd rather would just take my chances and wait. It's very tame back here on purple and blue. I feel like everyone else is the ones that are dying. Yeah. I feel like everyone that died fell over. I saw the one pineapple guy die from the corner of my eye, though. That was funny. 
I don't know why he was diving the opposite direction. You know what I mean? You know, it's funny, the guy right next to me on my right, the astronaut kind of looks like a Fortnite crossover skin. The, uh, the orange dude from, uh, Fortnite, the one battle pass skin from season three. He looks kind of like that astronaut. Brrr. All right, fruit shoot again. Fruit shoot, do not fail me. If you shove a banana or a pineapple or any sort of sharp or pointed penis-shaped fruit at me, I'm going, to, I'm going to be calling my lawyers, okay? I do not need any sexual-oriented fruit shoved in my area. I already had a pineapple shoved up my ass. Now it's time for me to shove the pineapple up your ass by dressing up as one. All right, so we're going to go to the right this time. Not just because I spawn here, but just because the right... I have a better feeling about it. See, look at that. The oranges are going more down the middle. There we go. That's what I was hoping. I understand that you have to try to at least hit me. I don't want you to actually hit me, though, but... I think it'd be more fair if it was far and few in between. That orange didn't even make it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but doesn't that one little astronaut guy here? I'm, I'm gonna see if I can spec him. Doesn't this kind of look like the uh, the astronaut from fucking Fortnite? The orange with the white. I think it kind of does. I, I think it looks cool. I think you got to buy with kudos and not wins, but uh, it's still cool to have it nonetheless. I, I don't know if all the crossovers, have all the crossovers been win oriented? I think they have. All right, now we got 15. I've never seen a 15 player finale. I think the only way you're ever going to get a finale is if it's 13 or less, because I, now I know about 13 player hacks. Oh, we got Hoopsie Daisy. This is the only team mode I actually like. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I've never seen uh, a less than 13 player. Uh, or sorry, I've never seen more than 13 player finales. All right, I'm, I'm pineapple, so hopefully I'll blend in with the crowd. Okay, I'm red. So I gotta have red win, because I saw my guy turn, like, into a Red Bull poof. Yep, little red puffs. Okay, he actually made it. Thank you, red team. Shit. How the fuck did you... Teammate, how did you and I both fuck that up? And both of us also fucked that up. Oh, God damn it. Okay, dude, come on. Come on, one of them's gotta spawn here soon. Yeah, there we go. Okay, thank you, Red. Oh, wait. Red? How? How? How are we missing? And we're both fucking hitting each other trying to get it. Because yellow's starting to make a comeback. Beach two at red, or beach two at blue. Oh, the angle. You gotta get from the other treadmill. See ya. Oh, come on! <laughs> Imagine how much more intense this would be if uh, winners were the only ones that moved on, not the two winning teams. Alright, we got 10, so unless this is fall ball, it's the finale. Oh, either that or uh, tiptoe. No, it's just fall mountain. Okay. I was going to say, sometimes tiptoe, uh, just like... Fall Ball is like the second to last mode. Uh, even when there's enough for a finale. 
It's like it randomly just generates up till, you know, that number. Okay, so I'm unfortunately in the back, but that's not necessarily bad because a lot of people tend to fuck this up, so. Okay, I didn't fall that hard. There's three of us right here. We can... Never mind. I was gonna say, unless he grabbed her, there was no way. When me and the one guy behind her got hit, oh, it was the egg dude. Oh, he caught up to her. I thought, I thought the, the I thought the uh, the portal crossover won. What I was gonna say is that yeah, the uh, the ball. Uh, if that didn't hit us. Could have easily made a comeback but uh that little minute difference you'll never catch up if you're always just a little bit behind like that it, it gets annoying dude okay well hmm just thinking Let me look at more of the uh, crossover leaks. I'm just curious. Yeah, it seems like there's going to be 10 crossovers. I recognize the TF2 guy. Apparently the bullet was already a crossover. Seems like every win one is a crossover. Yeah, see, there's already the uh, the one skin that's currently out of the game that was leaked, but uh, I don't know how accurate it would be. I'm, I'm, I wish they would have, like, a Left 4 Dead one, but I don't think there's going to be a Left 4 Dead one based off of these leaks. Because, luckily, the leaks seem to be accurate, but uh, unfortunately, since they are mostly accurate, um, I also haven't seen any Left 4 Dead ones, so the, the, there's not really any promising. I, I feel like if, the, if there was going to be a Left 4 Dead one at this point, unless it was the one particular uh, crowd... I feel like it would look fake. But then again, you always gotta take these with a pinch of salt. That's one of the corners. Or it's both the corners. There we go. I'm gonna guess middle, right? Nope, it's left. Let me through. Let me through. Guys, guys, guys. Let me through. Let, let me through, Jesus, guys! If that last door, or if you just happen to have a lot of people, you're never going to get through that unless you can get in the, the uh, crossing over carrying part. Yeah, these are all Valve title stuff. Guys, let me up. 
So yeah, I guess it's, it just happens to be Val crossovers, which is interesting. Very, very interesting. See, I just don't want to spend the, the, the crowns on a skin I just don't want, that's all. Like, I like Portal, but I would much rather have the, the Glaus robot guy. It's just I, I didn't have any wins at the time enough to even get the headpiece. You need at least five crowns to get a headpiece or a body piece. You need ten to get the whole set. Who do you play as in Portal? Oh, so it is the main girl. You play as Shell. And apparently that's her model. This is one uh, Asian looking girl. So apparently Shell is a non-speaking character you just happen to play as in the Portal series. So Shell has literally never any dialogue, at least in the first Portal. I, I, I've i never played Portal. I mean, I've seen clips of Portal, but I've never looked into the story. I just I know that about Glass, the corrupted robot, and, uh, you know, the, you know, the one friendly robot, and then you're playing as the one girl. Can you not do that? I really hope you die first. Anyway, but I guess that she's a mute character, which means they never talk, or at least according to the, the Wikipedia article. But, uh, yeah, see, like, I want this one, the, the, the little robot dude. I don't know if they'll ever be cycled back in. Plus, also, I don't want to invest in a skin that I feel like I can only get a, uh, a certain amount of pieces for. If I can, I would actually like to save up for, you know, a skin that I would especially like. For example, if I had to, you know, I have five wins right now, so I can get one of the pieces of, like, let's say, you know, Shell. But if there's like a later crossover skin uh, and I happen to get more wins by then, I might even like that better and I might have enough for the full set. So that's just one thing I got to keep in mind. If, if I get, uh, you know, a skin that's kind of like so-so, I, I really am not that interested in, you know, kind of like forking out my wins when there could be a better one and I can save up more wins to get the full thing of it. If they had the the robot, like GLaDOS, I think is what it is, if that came back, I would buy the, the headpiece. There's too many people bumping and grabbing. Oh my god, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Okay, this is gonna be especially bad. Wait, no, I thought it was the... Okay, it's just the jumping one. Everyone just stay in your own retrospective area, okay? This is the appropriate thing to do, right? You just bounce. Oh, no shit. I f... Wait. Did I win? I can't tell. It said eliminated, but then said round over. I think I barely got eliminated. Yeah, that's fucking stupid, dude. I hate it when you barely get eliminated by the skin of your teeth. I hate that. It's okay, though. We're just gonna keep hopping back in. I know we're gonna, you know, keep doing well. So yeah, it's just the the uh, the character you play as in Portal is the crossover. Are the crossover skins in Fall Guys coming back? Oh, hey Solid, what's up, man? Uh, what game is this? Uh, how do you uh want or lose, or do you mean how you win or lose? Um, well, uh, this game is Fall Guys. It's a really popular game right now on the PlayStation and also on PC. And basically, it's a uh, mini game party battle royale game where basically there's about 60 players and you end up going through multiple stages of 25 random mini games, and the last man standing actually ends up winning. It's really, really cool. You get to play as a whole bunch of uh, cool skins, little jelly bean guys. Got really fun, peppy music. It's kind of like Minecraft or Fortnite. It's like that fun kids game that everyone plays. It's just kind of like the main thing to play right now. I really do and truly enjoy it. I've gotten uh, three wins so far, and it's really, really enjoyable. 
A way you can think about is that it'd be a kind of a crossover if the TV show Wipeout and Fortnite had like a baby. Well, actually, that and Mario Party. Because it's just all a whole bunch of mini games. It's really, really fun. It was originally free on uh, PS Plus, but then they uh, removed that offer. So now it's like 20 bucks on PC and also on PlayStation. But you would like it if you tried it. In fact, then you would love it. Right now, I'm just talking about the leaks of the possible crossover skins that are going to be in the game. And I want to just know if the crossovers are going to be coming back, or if there's new ones. So, Gungeon crossover was the, uh, the one bullet skin. How you doing, by the way, though, man? Your life going good? Everything going today? Everything going good? Everything going good? I'm actually going to take a look at the videos on this, too. We got rollout. That's good. Everyone's making crossover theories about stuff they want. As much as I would love to have a crossover skin, is it on mobile? Unfortunately not. Although I do have a theory that it might be just because of the fact that the game's doing so well. Uh, so right now it's only available on PlayStation and on uh, PC, I believe Steam specifically, although I'm not sure if you can get it on the Epic Store. But uh, yeah, it's unfortunately not on Xbox, Switch, or mobile. But I have a theory that in the next like month or two, they're probably going to put it on mobile just because of the fact that it's making so much money and a lot of people enjoy it. A good sign of that is the fact that they're already starting to do crossovers, just because, like, you would have to pay big bucks to get a crossover going. Dude, dude, dude. Because they've already done several uh, crossovers already, and you would have to have a lot of money in order to uh, fund a crossover. Right, we only need one more guy to fall off. I'm kind of tempted. But I don't, I don't want to break my moral code. Yo, 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 yo. I wasn't actually going to break the moral code. I feel like that was foreshadowing. Uh, yes, pretty good. Uh, just playing Fortnite BR and saved the world. Oh, that's cool, man. That's awesome. I just want to say thanks once again for all the, uh, the, the free, free guns and stuff you gave me. I tremendously appreciate that. I'm going to really look forward to, uh, playing again tomorrow. I, I used some of the weaker stuff, like the purples you gave me. And, uh, dude, the one crossbow was fucking nice. I actually had to save it because it was that good, even though it was, like, a low-rarity gun. And I also, I'm sure you saw the fact that I bought the ninjas in the store. I just gotta figure out which way to apply them. I know you posted a comment saying how I gotta order it on the character to make it apply. So I'll read the comment and then, you know, be in Save the World at the same time. So that way I can apply that. Alright, orange banana, orange banana. Orange banana, and I'm a pineapple. I will hug you. Don't make me hug you. You can really screw with people on the last two, because, uh... Oh, let me see. Grape, banana, watermelon. Wait, cherry... Cherry, grape, watermelon, banana. Cherry, grape, watermelon, banana. Cherry, grape, watermelon, banana. You just faked them out last second. Cherry, grape, watermelon, banana. Cherry, grape, watermelon, banana. Like this. See? Alright, cherry, orange, apple, grape. Wait. Uh. Apple, banana... Orange, cherry, grape. Apple, banana, orange, cherry, grape. A apple, banana, orange, cherry, grape. Apple, banana, orange, cherry, grape. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't always fake everybody out. I was trying to get people to stand on a certain tile by, like, grouping up. And then I would, like, last second change my mind. Uh, 
Uh, get rid of the uh, PL9 Scar LOL. It's so weak next time. This game looks fun. Yeah, you're really going to enjoy this game, man. Yeah, this game is just very casual. Very, very fun. It's it's By the way, for how popular it is, it doesn't have skill-based matchmaking. Because even though they're, like developers very rarely will confirm or you know say whether or not there is skill-based matchmaking, I can just feel the difference. There is absolutely zero skill-based matchmaking in this game. Alright, let's focus. Gotta get the ball back up. Alright, come on, team. Come on, team! As long as we work together, we should be able to get it. Come on, come on, come on, guys. There you go! That, that was a good push. Although the problem is it's in a sharp corner, so they may or may not try to block it. Yeah, they're already on the way. Come on, go! This could have been a lot worse. I think I think we basically got it. Yeah, I don't think we can uh, get blocked. Yeah, but you see how people fuck with each other on this? That's why I was trying to make sure we got there ahead of time, because blue and yellow are screwing with each other. <laughs> like the rounds concept? Yeah, I, I really do like that too. It's it's like a Mario Party in that sense. Like there's uh, uh from the base game there's 25 mini games, and there is a mixture of races, um, uh, team based modes, and kind of like survival maps uh, where you have to like survive the the environment, and then there's the finales. And the cool thing is if you win the uh, the games, you get a crown. And the crown actually counts as a currency that you can use to buy exclusive stuff in the store. And we're actually at one of the finales right now. This was a uh, jump showdown. This is exactly like wipeout. You just gotta jump above the pistons. Or the jump above the pipes. There's 11 of us, so. So as long as we focus, we should have this absolutely. Because I've beaten this one before. The problem is the platforms will, will fall on this one okay so half and half that guy chose that side i don't know if that was a good idea so we're half and half oh there's his falling they, you you can jump the gap like that guy but you gotta think if it's worth it or not i think a lot of people started back out okay their their side is falling it might not always fall but Usually the side that starts to falling, the uh, whole thing will fall. And now people can't get away. Although it will stop at two. So that guy could theoretically win the whole thing or not. And I'm, I got caught. Damn it. In fact, did he win the whole thing? I think he won the whole fucking thing. That one guy that was by himself on the platform, which 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 skin was that? Okay, no, I think I think it was one of our guys. I was gonna say somebody was on the one side completely by themselves, and it would it would be a tremendous win to them if they just got so lucky with their platform. You bounce into anybody, you're pretty much screwed. But yeah, you see the uh, the purple currency and then the crowns. If I want to, if I can go into the item shop real quick, I'll show you. So, in the shop, there is uh, kudos you can uh, redeem to uh, get skins or uh, emotes or something like that. That's the purple currency. And then the crowns are the wins. And you can use these to buy uh, currently a portal crossover skin right now. You can get shell, which is actually uh, cool. Although, I've never played portal. So, I, I don't really have a sentimental attachment to uh, buying that skin. So only one player could win. Yes, but you can actually play with your buddies. Uh, you can actually play with up to three of your friends. You can play in a four-man team in squads. And uh, even though one of you can only win, you can actually just theoretically just have your buddies help you. Like if you want to, you could run with your buddies and we could be like, okay, when it gets to the finale, if we all make it, um, if you theoretically want to, you could just say, hey, let me win and they'll do it. And the developers don't care. That's why they let you do it. There's not like a solo mode and a team mode. It's just everyone plays, which is a really cool concept. So it's a free-for-all, but you buddies can help you. And it's a really cool story, yeah.
There was the uh, the Portal 2 GLaDOS robot skin that was a crossover, and there was a TF2 skin crossover, and there's supposedly more. They're all Valve stuff for some reason, which is fine with me because I like Valve. I really wish they would have a Left 4 Dead crossover skin, though. That'd be kind of cool. Just have, like, somebody rocking around as, like, Ellis or Coach. Or maybe even Zoe. Or Bill. That'd be another good one. There's also just some skins that look like crossovers, but uh, the crossovers have only ever been uh, obtainable through wins. You can't redeem kudos. Yeah, man, but just give the uh, the game a chance and I think you would really enjoy it. The way you can judge this just based off of watching my gameplay, just, you know, all alone. Hey all, I will show you the, the tips and tricks of becoming a Fall Guys master. Ow. <sighs> yeah, you can also get experience with the courses this way. Ugh, God damn it. I really want the ninja skin to come back. That would be just too perfect. <laughs> I just saw that guy promoting his TikTok through his fucking gamer tag. Are you kidding me? So we got YT and TTV. Now, now what we got TKs for TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> Wait, no, that'd be TTs. TikTok, yeah. Why did I say TK? Not tick cock with a K. I don't know why I was thinking that. Tick cock. <laughs> what the fuck was I thinking? Tick cock, yeah. If you have a tick cock, I'm pretty sure either that means that your tick has a massive cock or you got a, co a cock tick. <laughs> what the fuck am I saying? <laughs> I'll take shit I didn't expect to hear from John for 100, Alex. All right, cherry, banana. All right, cherry and banana, cherry and banana. Almost nobody ever fails the first one. What are you doing? Banana, orange, cherry, banana, orange, cherry, apple, banana, orange, cherry, apple, banana, orange, cherry, apple, banana, orange, cherry, apple, okay. Banana, orange, cherry, apple. I'm really glad we don't have any grabbers. Okay. Uh orange banana. Wait, that was a that was a bad combo. Banana, water, wait, banana, grapes, uh, ah, oh shit. I saw a banana, though. I think this is wrong, though. Oh, no, it's right, it's right, it's right. Don't push me, don't push me, don't push me, don't push me. I know there was one in the corner that was with the guys by themselves, but that scared the shit out of me to go over there. When there's not a lot of people over in a certain area, that really can screw with you. Slime climb, my favorite sweet. All right, let's do this. Go re. Let me through. Let me through. Guys, 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 don't push me. Guys! Jesus Christ. I almost fell right off because everyone was just like, 
Fucking Black Friday, move it! I, I had to fight just to get my balance back. Alright, I'm not gonna jump. Fuck that. There we go. Oh. Any of the ones you gotta do consecutively in a row is always the worst. Oh, I, I screwed up. I was a little bit too rushed. Alright, come on guys, take your time. Take your time. It's okay. Ah, fuck. I'm not taking my time, though. Follow your own advice, John. God damn it. D did my guy have a stroke? My guy completely missed that. I jumped dead center. I'm getting a PS5. PC gaming isn't for me. I, I can understand that, man. I mean, for me personally, I just love gaming so much that I get everything. I just buy whatever thing I, you know, think would be useful. I never liked the idea of restricting myself from playing a certain game because I don't have a platform or a certain gen of console or something like that. So I just kind of buy everything at this point. Like, in fact, I've actually been going back even and getting some old uh, gaming consoles, you know, for games that I missed. Because I don't want to necessarily have to worry about remasters. So, uh, I've been actually getting, like, old consoles and handhelds of at least the ori uh, originals, you know, the, like, the main trio, Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo. And, uh, I've, I've even considered getting a, uh, Sonic console, uh, remake of the Genesis, like the Genesis Mini. And I already got an Atari remake with the Atari Paddle. It's just basically a, uh, a plug-and-play of the 2600. But the main trio is what I want to get. I already have all the PlayStations. So that's all the PlayStations out of the way until PS5 comes out, which I will get the PS5 and the Xbox Series X at the launch dates. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna save up like you know over a thousand dollars to do it. And uh, I'm one I'm one Xbox away from all the Xbox. I just need an original Xbox. And then for a Nintendo, I just got an N64 in the mail yesterday. So now I just need the original Nintendo, the entertainment system, and then I just need a, uh, a Wii U. So I need only three consoles left. Ow. Guys. G guys. And the door just never will open back up again. Great. I always keep forgetting that that one door will never reopen. So you're a collector? Basically, yeah. I mean, I just ordered a Nintendo 64 and uh, Zelda, uh, 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 what was it, Majora's Mask? Yeah, Zelda Majora's Mask. Uh, like the original cartridge, like an actual cartridge, like before discs. Uh, because I, I really am into gaming that much that I'll play new and old games. So yeah, you, you can say I'm a collector. I mean, I, I mean I've just proven that just over la the last uh, few months over the summer. Because I was so bored during quarantine, I was thinking of the games I could play because I was running out of games because of the new consoles. I played them to death. I was thinking to myself just being like, you know what, I'll get some old games. So over the span of the summer, I got a PS1, 2, 3, and 4. I got a um, Super Nintendo, which is the SNES, N64, GameCube, and uh, I also ended up getting a... Well, no, I didn't get any handhelds, and I didn't get the original Xbox yet, because I've had 360 in the one for a while. So, yeah, I got all those. And I got several games for them, too. Like, if you enjoy what you do uh, as much as, like, I do, you'll go back. You won't necessarily have to only get the new stuff. I just sold my PS4 in January at uh, this. Wait, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not. I can't focus and read. I'll uh, read yours in a second. I saw something about you selling your PS4, which uh, I I completely understand why people sell their old consoles. 
because a lot of people don't usually go back. But uh, for me, it's my childhood. I have to keep them. I've never gotten rid of anything I've ever owned electronic-wise like that. I've gotten rid of a couple things like... Uh, well, I've gotten rid of some games before, but it's much easier to replace a game than as a whole console. Like, I got rid of some Wii games back in the day and some shit like that. My brother got rid of some of his handhelds. But uh, I sold my PS4 in January of this year and got a PC. Oh, so you do have a PC, but it's just not for you. I get it. Yeah, that, that blows when you buy something and you don't think it's for you. But I'll tell you this, though, my friend. PC gaming can be fun. What you should do is you should look into games that you like already and get mods. That's one of the main reasons why I got a PC in the first place. I don't like the whole PC situation. You should keep it, to be honest. Because if you really think about it, a PC is a really good investment because... The one thing a PC will always have over a console is two things. Well, so yeah, two things that a PC will always have over a console. Number one is that you'll never have to upgrade unless the computer is just genuinely dying. Like if it's breaking, then you'll upgrade. But if the computer is just in tip top shape, games, unless they're console exclusive, will always be on the PC. And you can always down th download things like the uh, Epic Game Store or uh, Steam for free. So, theoretically, you could just never upgrade and you could just keep a PC for your games for the rest of your life and never have to worry. It's like a long-term investment, yes, but you'll always keep it. Secondly, also, as well as the content, because um, you can get mods and you can end up adding content from fans. You can end up having uh, custom-made uh, servers or just homemade games. Those also are really, really cool. I'm, I'm probably going to die. I don't think I can make it. I'll try, though. Yeah, it's it's gonna be really cutting it. Uh, yeah, it's not happening. It's not happening. I, I got hit way too many times, and I would like to rage quit, please. I don't want to have to spectate this. I'm keeping it, but I miss playing uh, natively on the PS4. I get what you mean, man. I mean, the good news is with modern consoles, you can actually just keep everything on a cloud. Like, um, you also can keep things on your, uh, your account specifically, too. So, if you theoretically kept it on a cloud, like in your account, or if you just had it tied to the account, or if you had the external hard drive, you had it on a separate hard drive, if you really, really want to, you could just sell the PC and get a PlayStation 4 again and just re redo it again. Because uh, your games are tied to your account. So you would just if you bought them digitally, uh, you would just reinstall them on the hard drive again. And if you had them on a separate hard drive and, and you you know still have that, you can plug it in. You know, there's a whole bunch of circumstances like that. Uh, a new llama in the Save the World store. It has a lot of survivors. Ooh, that sounds nice. Yeah, I remember last time there was the melee only one. That just didn't really seem so cool. I'll just uh, I'll just tell you this, man. Follow your heart. You obviously had a reason to get rid of the PS4, but now you have a reason to get a PS4. It seems like. So don't just you know settle on the PC if you genuinely don't like it. Because trust me, I've been in situations where I've tried to just keep things because I assumed it'd be more painful to just you know fix the situation. Trust me, it's always more easier to, you know, fix the situation. It's not, it's not more and more painful. It's not as painful as just keeping the situation if you know you're disgusted with it. You very usually will stay disgusted. I'm not trying to make you feel bad. I'm just going based off of what you're telling me and making my educational guess on what you should do. Luckily, the good news is that PS5 is claimed to have backwards compatibility support for all the PlayStation. Same thing with the Xbox. So if it's like the games that you miss more than the actual console, just uh, get a PS5, man. You'll be able to play all your old games then. Yeah, there's no point in getting it. Just get a PS5. Well, it's funny you say that because I, I did get a PS4 myself, you know, before the PS5, like when there's only like four month wait. I could have theoretically said the exact same thing, but I said I was going to, I was, I, I said to myself, I was going to get a PS4 anyway, regardless, because I'm going to collect them all. So I might as well just get it now while it's popular and it's in stores. And I know they work now to get it from a shady eBay developer. So I was just like, you know, might as well just get it and enjoy the four months. Because <laughs> I got this in August. The 
The PC loading times are the only things keeping you. PS4 loading times are painful. Oh, you should see the Xbox. <laughs> the Xbox loading times are the ones that are painful. I got a, uh, a PS4 Slim. I got the Slim. And the Slim runs okay. Uh, I know that the best running consoles is going to be the PS4 Pro and the uh, Xbox Series... Uh, not Sorry, not Xbox Series X. God, the Xbox titles are fucking confusing. The Xbox One X. The Xbox One X... Not the Xbox Series X. The Xbox One X is the the new Xbox One that runs the best. If you got that or a PS4 Pro, um, that they basically eradicate the slow loading times. The Slim, I can't tell the difference on the PS4 compared to a normal PS4, and then I just have an original Xbox, and they've always been slow. Depending on the circumstance, sometimes it's worth waiting to get a, a better version of, of the exact same console. Some consoles are considered separate, even if they're only just remakes in my eyes. Like, uh, I'm trying to think of the ones that I got originals of. I got uh, the original Xbox One. I have the Xbox 360 Lite or Slim, which is the black model that a lot of people will famously know of. Not the famous white model, but the famous black model after. Um, I have a original Super Nintendo, an original N64. I got the purple GameCube, which I don't think is the original. I think the black one was the original. I got a uh, original PS1, an original fat PS2. I got the slim PS3, the slim PS4. Uh, handhelds, I got the Game Boy Advance SP, which is the flipping clam one. Uh, I got a 2DS. Uh, which is the solid 2DS or the 3DS remake. I got a original DSi. No, sorry, not DSi, not DSi. That's the internet one. I got a DS Lite. That's not the original DS. It's not the, the DSi either. It's in between. And I got just a PC. SSDs and Magic. My first console was the PS2 Slim I got in 2006. Yeah, the PS2, um, it, it's it's such a good console. Funnily enough, you mentioned the PS2. I when I because uh, I've been getting all these uh, old consoles lately at a, a disc replay, which is like an old gaming shop or old electronic shop uh, where I live. They've been really good to me. And um, the N64 was the first one I got online, but the the disc replay that has all the uh, the old consoles and everything, uh, they treat me well. And uh, one of the things that they gave me was uh, I there was three PS2s they had at one time. And I, uh, I actually saw two of them were, uh, in the original box. And I got a original PS2, fat PS2, uh, in the box for 60 bucks. It was really, really cool. Because, uh, even the console, when I booted it up, it said configured to the current date and time and month. And it was preset to 2002, which was the launch year. It was so weird, dude. I felt like I was back in 2002, even though I never had a PS2 back then. It just preloaded to 2002, and I'm like, wow, this is ancient. But it's cool ancient. It's like when you go to a museum and you find that one section of the museum as a kid that you really did like. Mmm, this is gonna be sketchy. Alright, cool. I was seven years old. Cool, lol. <laughs> what do you mean it's just cool? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Do I have to interrogate you by taking the microphone shoving it down my throat, young man? Don't make me ear rape you. I will do it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's how I reprimand people in my chats. I just talk to them really deeply, do a weird ASMR. Welcome to the Black Ninja 797 ASMR, where we will all of a sudden talk like I'm Elvis Presley. All right, well, we got Fruit Shoot again. Fruit Shoot, you've been kind of mean to me today. you kind of been doing me dirty. I am one of you, remember? I am a pineapple. You could be a voice actor? Oh, well, thank you, man. That's very flattering. I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, that's why I enjoy doing commentaries a lot. It's because I just like speaking. I like, I've like i always liked talking and using my voice. I don't want to get fucked by a watermelon. I've already been fucked by a pineapple. See, if I was ever going to voice act, though, I would really like to do a cartoon. 
I would love to be on, like, Adult Swim or something and, like, guest star or just even have my own show and just have, like, a cartoon animated version of me just saying all the swear words I say. That would just be hilarious. Can you imagine, like, a, you know, for example, take, like, Fall Guys, like, these little jelly bean characters. Can you imagine just one of them just going, fuck, out of nowhere? <laughs> That'd be so left field. Alright, this time we made it on a fruit shoot. How, how many people did I guess to? 17, okay. Alrighty. You can voice a save the world hero and a storyline. That'd be fun. Who knows, maybe I could actually, hey, you know, Epic, you know, if you, I don't know why you'd be watching this if this is a Fall Guys stream, but if you ever want to, like, make me a voice actor for one of your skins and save the world or something like that, I'd be all, I'd be down. For some reason, I've noticed a lot of the skins in this game have a blue contrast. Like, I'm, I'm a neon yellow pineapple, so seeing everybody else, you realize how blue everyone is, or just the, the skins. Which is fine with me, because I like the color blue. It's just very uh, interesting to see all blue. Usually contrasting games, a lot of people don't run blue because blue is considered a depressing color. And then yellow is like considered a uplifting color. You know, or in other words, like blue makes you sleepy and like yellow makes you awake because of like sun and moon references. But I've always liked blue. I've never, I've, I've never thought of it like the dark darkness of night. I just always thought of it like seawater, like an ocean or a lake. It just it seems beautiful to me. Okay. It looks like they got rid of that one piece on that half. That blocks everybody. Alright, guys, let's be professional about this, okay? Alright. As long as I don't fall, I should be fine. It seems like you can just continuously jump and you're good. I just didn't want my guy to trip all of a sudden. That would be annoying. Ow, ow, ow. Guys, get, guys, get away. See, that's the fucking annoying part is when my teammates fling me forward and they don't even mean to. By them walking in my vicinity, I almost flung off the map in the forward direction. Okay, I just need to be in the front. I just need to not hit the fucking tile. Oh, not last second again. I'm stuck, God. God damn it. They really gotta fucking patch that bug, dude. That's not even my fault. That last part, if you get stuck in that railing, it doesn't even matter. Like, you could fall literally like a millisecond before the countdown timer that's so strict you lose. It's annoying, dude. Uh, even the white skins in the game have a white contrast. Yeah. A very, uh, in interesting color palette. Well, I mean, this game's naturally bright. Uh, it uses a lot of colors. I mean, obviously, the main thing you'll notice is the team colors, which is yellow, blue, red, and green. Although, uh, blue and yellow get used the most. Because, uh, in, uh, something like Tail Tag, where there's four teams, you'll get all of the, the those four colors, yellow, blue, green, and red. But uh, in the trio modes, you skip green, and then in the uh, duo modes, it's always blue and yellow. <sighs> Alright, let's do this. As long as I can get flung by the propeller right, we can do that strat. Alright, here we go. There we go. Fling me forward. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna jump and I'm gonna climb. It's not worth trying to cheese it. Okay. 
come on. There we go. How did the fuck did I... I don't even know how I got hit or stayed. Damn it. Fuck! We're going middle, fuck it. I fucking pushed the hot dog and I didn't even mean to. That's the thing with this game is you can kill a, a teammate or an enemy and you don't even mean to. Just a balancing game. There we go, we fucking made it. the boxers has got a lot of space to work with. <laughs> and that was quite a few people that got eliminated too. Why do I feel like it's gonna be a mode I don't like? I just have that feeling. Okay, it's hit parade. For some reason in my mind I thought egg scramble and I was like, oh no. <laughs> Although I will say this, that pipe really barely makes a difference. You can kind of just immediately catch up. It's not a significant leap. It's just very subtle. Yeah, I'm getting fucking cock blocked. Guys. Guys, let me through. Let, let me through, you fucking idiots! <laughs> That was cutting it close. I should have died, probably. God. That minute difference, though. That was the one time where the pistons didn't make sense. That walkway. That walkway, you know, very rarely makes a difference. But, oh my god, in that instance, it did. Holy shit, I barely made it. I was, like, number 27. There were so many people right around me. Easily could have been anyone else's game. Easily. Ah, oh, it's... Fucking tail tag. Ugh. God. Can you imagine if Royal Fumble didn't exist and they just had team tail tag and then this tail tag? And imagine if this was like, you know, the finale. You know, like a 13 player version of free for all tail tag. That'd be god awful. So it always could be worse. But we got the strat at least. I can't tell if that was mine. No, it wasn't. Okay, good. Damn it, stop. Oh, no, they went the opposite of me. Dude. Latency much? Fuck? 
Dude! You could do everything right in this game and still get a fucking tail snatched. Oh no. Tag never ceases to disappoint me. Seriously, dude. How the fuck did I not grab you? Uh, they really have got to work on that game mode. They're going to keep it. That, the fact that you can get screwed because of just simply lag is annoying. Like, the lag of the fact that I don't have a strong enough reach as you do. Like, I'll grab people by, like, being in their asshole. People will grab me from, like, a fucking 10-foot pole. It's ridiculous. Got hit for it again. All right, let's try this again. Luckily, I just have a straight shot. That was perfect. For, for the way that that was. All right, let me through. I see her. I see her. Pew 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 pew. Hear all the jelly bean guys just going pew 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 pew. Everyone back there is dead. I got first though, that was cool. Alright, Mr. Black Ninja. Who are you playing with? All of these guys. guy over here is the bullet guys don't there's no need to push guys hello stop it oh i need one more person to fall left come on That's not going to be me, okay? Fuck you. <laughs> I just grabbed the pigeon so he would move. I'll grab occasionally if it's justified, but I don't randomly grab just to grab. 
I feel like people just grab just to fuck with you. I like to troll too, but... God, am I fucking getting, like, bad lobbies? Oh, we got normal jump club. This isn't that bad. It's easy to beat jump club. In comparison to uh, jump showdown, jump club is super easy. See, the opposite of jump showdown is that with jump, uh, with jump uh, club, you go left. Jump showdown, you go right. Although, I, uh, apparently I'm getting a lobby where that is incorrect to everybody. See, the thing is, it will always be slightly faster than you, so. And the problem is, is that nobody wants to die. There we go, we got two people. Finally. Oh, that was a decent chunk of them. Although I can't see. That's the problem. It's, yeah, it's 15. Still not enough for a show. Now we're probably going to get Fall Ball. We're probably going to get Tiptoe. I, I've never seen 15-man free for all. Wait, I think I have actually. I think I've seen a hexagon match like that one time. Just one time, I can't remember. But we got Hoopsie Daisy, okay. Okay, Hoopsie Daisy I can manage. If I lose, it's on me and my team. If I win, it's also me on my team. I, I actually genuinely believe I got this one. Wh which team am I? I am yellow, I think. I think I'm yellow. I'll have to wait and see what color I am. Oh shit, ow. I slipped. I can't tell what I am. I, okay, I'm yellow. I thought it was yellow. I can't even tell what I am when I'm fucking wearing the pineapple. I thought yellow had it. Yellow did get it now. Thank god yellow got that. Fuck you, red. Oh. Uh, what, the monkey? Uh, gets his color disguised? I'm surprised. Oh, which one are you going to go for? No, fuck. That fucked me up when I didn't know what color they were going for. Can you get it at this angle? It doesn't matter. We got it. Yeah, <laughs> let's go, yellow. Oh, shit. Ow. Whoops. No, he fucked it up. Yeah, there we go. There's so many on the spinny part. Oh, there's a gold one right there, though. Yes, let's go, yellow. Dude, look at that comeback that we made. We almost beat blue. We destroyed red, though. Holy shit. Yeah, me, yellow and blue were pretty much neck and neck. At least at the end there. Red, they kind of got bone. Alright, now we're at 10. This is going to be a finale, finally. I just don't know which one. I have a guess. I think it's Hex or Fall Mountain. It's always those two. Those are the most popular. I never see Jump Showdown tail tag nearly as much. Yeah, it's Hex.
Okay. Ah, shit. Mm. No, that's not good. Uh, dude, how? you don't. Oh. Oh, shit. No. Stay on purple. Yes. I think I'm very lucky. I think a lot of people fell off of purple. Oh, I've got all this space to work with. Oh, boy. I hate the angles, dude! I don't know how PC players do that abrupt turn without looking. Like, you know what I'm talking about where they, they just dive the general direction but they can't see? Are you playing on controller? Yeah. Yeah, I'm playing on controller. I, I, I feel it's much easier to be on PC, but I, I played this on console because I wanted to play with my friends. Plus, also, I just prefer console play anyway. PC, I, I do for the more hardcore games. Something like this, I'll just get on console. God damn, that was a good run, though. That, that was good, and we also were juking people out. We're getting good at, like, cutting people off and when we're running and knowing, like, to do sharp corners like that. And, like, giving ourselves space, but... We do need to work on the diving and, and the jumping still. Like, I gotta, I gotta know that, like, just as soon as I dive, you know, or even when I jump, just go bam and just jump right back up again. Controllers on PC cause lag a lot. No, I'm just on console. It's controller on console. I'm not controller PC. You can tell by the button layout that it's a, a PlayStation controller. And then uh, we're also playing on a PlayStation uh, console because Fall Guys on PC just say, uh, you know, Fall Guys numbers as the gamer tags. There's actual gamer tags on PlayStation. That's one of the ways you can tell. We're dead center in the front. This will probably be my last game, just due to the way that the, uh, the timing is. Because I'm going to get off at uh, 9, which is 15 minutes from now in my time. And usually these run about 10 to 15 minutes, almost exactly. Oh, shit, I went backwards. No! Oh, thank God, I front flipped out of there. The enemies were... Uh, dude. God, this is so fucking chaotic. Ooh, I got through. Hell yeah. Ow. Do you like, uh, the new PS5 controller? I haven't used it yet, so I don't know if I'll like it. Trust me, you gotta feel a controller to know if you'll like it. There's very rarely a time where a controller, um, you can just tell by based off the looks. Oh, come on. I got there. But uh, I like it. It looks like a hybrid between a PlayStation and an Xbox controller. Okay, I just got. I guess I'm just gonna stay here then. Yeah, but the PS5 controller looks like a an Xbox One controller with a PS flavor to it. It's like a PS4 designed. Or sorry, it's like a PS designed Xbox One controller. <laughs> they have like that jagged shape to them. See, I heard supposedly, unless they changed it, that the Xbox Series X, since the uh, the controller is basically identical to the Xbox Ones, um, I heard you can use your Xbox One controllers as controllers for the, uh, the Series X. Which is good, because if that's the case, I can still use my Xbox One scuff controller, and I won't have to worry about buying a new scuff. 
because I've been enjoying using this Xbox One scuff for the time that I've had it, and it would suck to replace it now. I don't want that thing to go to waste. You better go in, dude. Just, you, you two better go in. You're the last two. Oh, you got time. <laughs> that dude's still in the back there, the purple guy. I probably would say my favorite mode in this would probably be Hexagon, just because of how balanced it is. I, I mean, I've only won at once, but uh, Hexagon is probably my favorite, and Slime Climb. Hexagon and Slime Climb are kind of like tied. This is not one of my favorite modes, though. <laughs> this one of my least. But we'll try, we'll try. In fact, we'll succeed, to be honest. We're red, okay. I think blue naturally has the middle one in their color, even though it's technically in the middle. Oh, and I got an error on the application. I thought my internet crashed. That was the very first time I've actually received that PS4, uh, like, blue screen. Don't know why it did that. That was weird. It's it's like my console didn't like it either. Stealth logging. Hey, what's up, man? Always good to have a new viewer around here. How are you doing, man? I tuned in just in time. We just we just started a brand new game just because our last game disconnected. <laughs> Got the blue screen, the blue screen of death for PlayStation. Fail. That's not even my fault. That's Sony. That's on Sony. That's one of the things I'll also say I like about PlayStation more than Xbox: the lack of crashes. That was the first time I've ever had a blue screen like that. All the other crashes before were specifically the game itself, not the console. But, uh, Stealth, how you doing, man? Let me know how your day's going. I always am just curious to see. I watched your Save the World walkthrough on YouTube. I bought the game. Hey, that's awesome, man. I'm glad I could persuade you. Thank you for watching the Save the World series, by the way. I tremendously appreciate it. Yeah, Solid here watches it, too. So I guess you guys are saving the world for uh, friends. <laughs> Who knows, maybe we'll all play together one time on stream. But uh, that's awesome, man. I'm glad you bought the game. And just out of curiosity, when you say you bought the game, did you mean Fall Guys or Save the World? I'm just curious what you mean by that. Either way, I'm still glad you bought whatever you bought, because it would obviously be one of the two, and I like both games. All right, yeet. I am really looking forward to that uh, yeetus mode. That's going to be fun. Okay, guys. This is not how this is supposed to go. Remember, basic science. Basic science! I'm so glad it wasn't slanted to the point where it flung me off. Okay, we're not really in a position to jump right now. Blue is going to completely fall. Not not this blue, the other blue. The one behind me. I need purple to fall down so I can take the shortcut on it. There we go. I'll read chat in a second here. I just can't do it in the middle of a race. Damn it, purple went up. I gotta wait for purple to go back down, otherwise the shortcut's not gonna happen. See ya, bitch. Yeah, I eat. Alright. Uh, metal team leader pack. I don't, I don't miss this blue screen on PS4. <laughs> I got, I got you, man. Well, I can persuade your purchase. 
See, one of the reasons why you can always come to me for reviews is I'll just say it how it is. I'll tell you if something's completely bullshit. <laughs> That's probably why I've never been invited to any, like, uh, game releases or, like, backstage things for games. Like, how Activision does for Call of Duty or something like that. Because I, I fucking blatantly call out Activision multiple times, and I'm, and I'm glad I did, but they're, they're probably never going to call me. It's okay, though. Who knows? Maybe they will call me. Who, who knows? Maybe I'll be the one guy that can finally break through to them. Come on, little green dude. I believe in you. Holy crap. He was like second to last. By the way, chat, just always want to mention that at some point during the stream. I tremendously appreciate if you guys are enjoying what you're seeing. If you guys could drop a follow. It's always greatly appreciated. I'll let you guys know when I am live streaming next. Because uh, we live stream Thursday through Sunday at Variety of Games. And plus also, uh, since you say you follow me on uh, YouTube for uh, Save the World uh, Stealth, you can actually follow me on Twitch. So when I live stream it tomorrow, you can see the new episodes early. That's really a way you can think about it. You can see the episodes early. All right, hit parade. I wish Fall Guys was available on Xbox. Yeah, I completely understand that, man. That's one of the reasons why I even got a PS4 in the first place. I was just sick of games just being restricted on certain consoles. I know that's why they make you do them, is so you will buy their console. It's I just think it's just petty to me. That's why I'm really happy with uh, cross-play and even cross-gen now with the, uh, the, the this generation of consoles and uh, next-gen. Like, before, if a console was done, it was done. There was no cross-gen or cross-play or anything. It just is what it was. Now, now we're changing that. That's why you gotta speak up about your opinions. You, you can change the world. So I bet you we would still be having the uh, the debacle about games being ported over or demanding on being on other consoles. Is this green guy going to make it again? Hopefully my buddy will make it. I'm going to vote root for the green guy. There you go. Oh, that one other pineapple guy restricted. No. Uh, Microsoft said Xbox would no longer have exclusives. Yeah, I think Sony did that too. Sony, uh, their last exclusive for the PS4 was that Samurai game that I uh, saw PewDiePie play. I didn't watch him play, but I knew about it. All games are shared on PC. Well, I mean, Fall Guys is available on PlayStation and on PC, so if they're only doing shared games, I mean, Fall Guys is in that list. It's not just exclusive, then. Because the next exclusive they're going to work on is Halo for the next gen. That's what they're working on. That's why. Alright, we're blue. I feel like blue is the best for rock and roll because you're in the middle and you can't get cock blocked in a corner. Although it looks like we already got some blue guys already on the way to block red or, or yellow, which I wish they would help instead. Alright, guys, we gotta let it fall back. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go, chief. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. We're ahead of the pack of everybody. Yes. Yeah, see, for red and yellow, they have the corners on the map, so it's hard for them to get out. Although, red and yellow are very much working right now on trying to screw over blue. I can't even see to defend. Yeah, sorry, red's not gonna happen. In fact, I'm actually gonna grab him. Yeah, there you go. Now he's completely screwed I pulled him backwards. Go screw with yellow. There you go. Good parrot. <laughs> Yellow's more on the way. Yeah, yellow's already got the track. Yeah, that th yellow gets it. The hot dog can't cut it off. Uh, Halo would be available on PC. Even the demo uh, was running on PC. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that Halo's on PC now. Yeah, they uh, they made uh, Master Chief Collection on there, right? Yeah, not not the individual games, but just Master Chief Collection because it is all the games. It's more optimized versions and everything. It's all bundled too, so it makes sense. I keep forgetting Halo's PC now. God damn it. Oh boy, everyone's favorite. 
This is either where I live or I die. This is either finale time or, or dying time. I can't remember. How many people made it? Okay. I do not have a tail. And how many people are here? I, it doesn't show. I wish I would have looked preemptively. Hi, buddy. Damn, he really juked me out. Oh, what the fuck? How the fuck did he... There we go. Oh, run! Wait, what? He grabbed me? Oh, wait, no, he didn't. Okay. Thought he did. Apparently, he didn't. Alright, this is the place to stay. See, almost nobody can ever get to you in this spot, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody was sneaky. Oh, yep, like that guy. But now what I'll do... Go right back around and do it again! Oh. Oh, I'm screwed. Alright, back in the middle again. Hello, other guy with a tail. Oh, that one dude in the area got grabbed. Oh no. I feel bad for him. Alright, this parrot I know is going to try to juke me out, so I gotta be very careful. Oh no, he has a tail. Okay, so leave me alone. Oh. If, if you can't get the bottom, just stay at the hammer at the top. Uh, did you buy the extra battle pass, uh, or the upgraded battle pass to get the extra tiers on Fortnite? Yeah, I did. I actually bought the battle bundle for once. Normally, I would always buy the $10 one just to save money because I knew I would always play the season throughout anyway. But, um, I've been playing other games a lot and I didn't want to buy 100 tiers, so I just bought the battle bundle. Alright, we got Hexagon. Alright, grand finale, boys. I kind of want to win at all the game modes, but it's I'm not going to be uberly strict about that. I'll, I'll still appreciate winning if it's Hex again. It'd be kind of cool to mix things up just to win at all the modes. Because technically, uh, I beat every single mode except for Fall Mountain, but I'm cool if it's Hex again. That guy fell right away. I feel bad for you. Okay. Cut off the area. Okay, now... Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I don't have a lot of room to work with. I need to get here now. Oh, I did make it! No, shit! I, and then I fell through purple and got to yellow. God damn it. I really need to clear an area and just make it my own. Dude. Sorry, Pigeon. It had to be done. Sorry, not happening. Shit! Damn it, I, I, I couldn't make it. I couldn't slip through the crack. I'm, I'm just curious, who wins? It's one of these two. Wait. Oh, there's a dude on yellow still. Oh, GG to you. Yeah, Pigeon Boy over here is going to have a hard time because of what I left for him. Oh, no, he finally fell. The pigeon could theoretically beat the parakeet, but the parakeet has so much more room to work with. Yeah, the parakeet wins. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, the parakeet, um, when he was on yellow, he could see the blue ahead of time, so he knew where to land. You know what, guys? I think I'm going to over-deliver for you guys. Instead of ending the stream at 9, you guys have been so nice to me, and you guys have given me so much support over the last couple weeks. I'm going to give you one more game. Just one more game. I'm going I'm to make sure that you guys end up getting your uh, your fair share of content from me. Don't want to leave you guys open-ended open or, or hanging or anything. If you guys if you guys can respect that, can we get some hype in the chat then, please? I would tremendously appreciate some hype, because we you guys have fucking deserve it. You guys seriously deserve an extra game. I enjoy spending my time with you, I really do. Let's get it! What am I streaming? Save the world tomorrow. It's always uh, Thursday and Sunday. Yeah, because uh, Friday and Saturday, I play all, all the other games that I like. Because if I play for, um, if I play for at least three hours, that's enough to cover every single day of the week and uh, for the daily uploads on YouTube, or the daily double uploads on YouTube. Plus, also, it's it's decent story progression because it's six hours each week. Sometimes on Sunday I play four hours because I gotta uh, make four episodes, uh, so that way it covers from Sunday till Thursday, or Monday till Thursday, and uh, I like them to be sometimes an hour long, so sometimes I do like seven uh, day, uh, seven hours a week, or seven hours, uh, yeah, seven hours a week. Right, I gotta go, okay, now I guess we're going this way. I'm trying to just go wherever the crowd's going, because otherwise the momentum just closes the gate. Oh my god, I barely almost got in. I think I've noticed a trend with the uh, the channels that a lot of you guys really just enjoy the single player games. Well, not even necessarily single player, multiplayer is in Fortnite, but uh, I noticed a lot of you guys like a good story game. I've noticed that a lot. Like the multiplayer games do well on the channel. Like I've, I've had Fortnite do well on the channel. I've had COD do well on the channel. I've even had Fall Guys do well on the channel, even uh, as a recent game. But um, the the two campaigns. I mean, technically Minecraft, but the two campaigns, especially these last two, Zelda and uh, Save the World, have been really doing well. I think, I think I know what I'm predominantly going to be doing now, honestly. I'll probably just continue, honestly, just on the regular, just daily double uploading. Uh, it's 10 a.m. in New Zealand. Oh, you're from New Zealand. Oh, that's cool, man. I, I love hearing when my subscribers and my followers are from different countries. It's just cool to know my content's gotten that far. <laughs> Like, I've, I've seen a couple of you guys say you're from, uh, you know, Ireland, from uh, Scotland, from the UK, from Australia, and now New Zealand. That's cool, man. On YouTube, you can also see that statistic, too. Although, on Twitch, I don't know if you can see that statistic. You, uh, YouTube, I see Twitch, they just tell me. Uh, wait, wait. Oh, cool, cool. I thought it would fling me off. Luckily, nobody else was balancing on blue. Ah! Go, 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 go. Plus, also, if you guys want to see campaigns of games anyway, that's perfect because I've been there's been a lot of games that I've been always meaning to play uh, their campaign because uh, I stopped doing that for a while. Like, I've only been doing these recently because of the fact that they were on YouTube on Twitch. But if I can live stream or make videos on it, you guys will watch them. That will give me more motivation because I feel like anytime I play a campaign, I should be recording. So it's good to know that guilt-free. Although I won't play every single... Uh, campaign on recording just because some of them are not even worth it some of them are like only like six hours i feel like if i was gonna do a campaign it would have to be a, a long one like one that i could get a decent amount of parts on
I went to California for my dad's 50th birthday back in 2017. Oh, that's awesome, man. How'd you like it? I haven't even gone to Cali yet. I, I love the idea of going to California. California, New York, and uh, Hawaii are three states in the U.S. I want to see. So when COVID calms down, I'll be really eager to go there. Dude, I've got pissed so bad, though. Once I'm done with this game, though, I am going to piss like a racehorse. I like story-driven games. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone can agree that they like story-driven games. Because, like, something like Fall Guys, you know, it's just like, what, what's the storyline here? Are the beans secretly a part of an evil cult that sacrifices newborn babies? No, it's, it's, just, it's just beans, and they run around ooping each other. <laughs> That's the story. See, a lot of games back in the day were only campaign. Now, a lot of them are only just multiplayer. Or at least the multiplayer is the central point. <laughs> Detroit Become Human is a good game. Yeah, I've heard about Detroit Become Human. That, that does look like a cool game, too. I like the idea of that. If you ever have any game recommendations, just put them down below in chat. I'll uh, write them down like on a notepad or something. I've always kept in mind some of the suggestions. Just make sure it's a game, though, that I can stream and record. Because there was one time that I uh, I got a suggestion to play GTA 5 before Save the World. And I was actually going to do GTA 5 before Save the World, believe it or not. But uh, I, I double-checked and I looked and you can't because any nudity, which GTA obviously has, or pornographic content, which GTA especially has, um, it's a no-go. You can't. You'll get a strike. That was the only one I didn't remember where the fuck it was. Okay. Oh, the boxing guy. No, don't you push me off, you fucking cunt. Orange, banana, apple, uh, cherry, grape. Orange, banana, apple, cherry, grape. Orange, banana, banana, uh, orange, wait, watermelon, orange, banana, cherry. Ah, oh, fuck, I fucked myself up. What is it? I, I, I don't even remember what orange was at this point. Uh, sorry, hot dog. I'm just walking. I'm not pushing. I just, I just don't want to die. <laughs> you don't even need a passport to visit these places. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not saying I would never travel the world. I, I, of course, would love to travel the world. I'm just uh, traveling in the states as of right now. It's because there's a lot of stuff in my own country that I just don't even know about. Like, I've only been to four states. I've got my own. I've been to uh, Ohio. I've been to uh, uh, Florida. I've been to Chicago. And I technically spent a day trip or, like, two in Kentucky. But I can't remember because I was, like, uberly young. So I, I would say Kentucky. I think it was, like, one day. It wasn't a vacation that I could really remember, though, because I was so little. I've even vacationed in my own home state, which, uh, I just won't mention the state just because I don't want people to know exactly where I live. Plus, also, you can kind of just put two and two together anyway. Eventually, if I say I visited all these states for a vacation vlog, the one I won't make a vacation about, uh, you know, that's the one you'll know. <laughs> or at least, I, I don't think I really will. Okay, guys, we gotta make it go around the right. Guys, guys, we gotta make it go around the right. Yellow and blue are catching up in front of us. Guys, 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 you're, you you just pushed into the other corner. Red, red. Oh, no. All right, well, GG, boys. All right, so that was our extra game. All right. Anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's live stream. I hope you ended up enjoying seeing some Fall Guys. If you did, please consider dropping a follow. It's always greatly appreciated. And I'll let you guys know when I'm live streaming next. Look forward to Save the World tomorrow. And I hope you guys enjoyed another live stream for the most unique live streamer.